what I love about I.O., all the great things that you guys are working on. And today, we just want to um, tell you a little bit more about some of the great things we have to offer for you. So, as you may have heard at Google I.O. once or twice or a couple more times, right? Firebase is a suite of integrated products designed to help you develop your app, grow more users, and earn some money while you're at it. Firebase allows you to share your data with other platforms, including Google's own advertising platform, of course, AdWords. AdWords helps people let you know about how amazing your app is and get it into their hands and into their phones. So this afternoon, I'm going to walk you through AdWords and how we can help you find more of the right users for your app. So you can find more people that are interested in weather, more people that are interested in finding a great game for their child, right? And more people interested in security. OK, so I'm going to go ahead and start by giving you some industry context, showing you how universal app campaigns can help you find more of the right users that you're looking for. Then my friend Eli here is going to show you a demo of universal app campaigns. And it's going to be amazing, let me tell you. And then we're also going to tell you about what we're doing to make universal app campaigns even better, to find you more users and more quality users. And just because one of my secret superpowers is not keeping a secret, I'm going to let you in on my secret on what, Pasha's, or what Eli's going to tell you about. It might have to do with launching universal app campaigns on iOS and focusing on lifetime value. Yeah. Look, I love the excitement. This is fabulous. Um, finally, Pasha is going to tell you about the improvements that we're making on formats, how we bring the art and science of our automated tools to help you move the needle. And by the end of this, hopefully you'll be able to find more quality use for your app and really grow your business. And if, we'll also talk about a little bit of the ways that we try to make it really easy for you to get started. So before I dive into things, let's talk about why we're really here. Consumers are always on their phones today. You see this when you're at the supermarket. People are on their phones checking prices. You see this when you're commuting, right? People are listening to music on their um, phone. And you see this when you're just sitting at home talking with friends, looking up you know, the hottest new news or something. Um, so 80% today of time that people spend on phones is actually spent within a mobile app. So it's really important to get users' attentions. And both Google Play Store and the App Store have reached enormous scale with millions of apps driving economic value north of $50 billion per year. Five, zero. And that was a B for billion. Okay? That's a heck of a lot of money coming from users on mobile apps. And so, you know, at this point, I'm making it sound really easy, right? All you have to do is build an app. You're going to get people coming in and downloading your app. They're going to spend time in your app. They're going to spend money in your app. And then they're going to tell all their friends about their app, all the new friends they're meeting here at I.O., right? And business will just be booming. And all you're going to want to do is skip through the park and sing a song like you're in a musical. But it's really not this easy. And that's why you guys are all here, right, I hope? Um, apps present opportunities, but the ecosystem also creates challenges for developers and marketers such as yourself. So first, finding users is really not that easy at the right time when they're ready to download your app. Secondly, figuring out what works is not that easy either, knowing which channel that users are going to be on and the right channel to get people to download your app. Right? It takes time and it takes money to test, to iterate, to manage, and to optimize those campaigns. And you guys are all very important people, and you have much better things to do than turn a few knobs on your campaigns. Third, it's really difficult to keep users coming back. Right. Mobile users today have more choice than ever before. And while it's really great for users such as myself, it does possess a challenge for people to download your app and to engage again. And just because a user installs your app, it doesn't mean that they're automatically going to pull out their phone every day and look at your app. And so this is where Google comes in, right? We've got your back. Millions of consumers today are discovering and engaging apps 
with all the Google destinations today. Whether they're searching on the web to find a great place to eat lunch after this presentation, I know, we're blocking your lunch, I'm sorry. Um, or just simply um, looking for a new game to play so that when you're standing in line, you have something to do, right? Um, or watching those amazing cat videos on YouTube. Come on, I know you guys all do that in your spare time, right? Um, we're woven into people's lives in such a great fashion. And we, have, um, we actually have seven products today with over a billion active users. So it's a lot of users ready to download your app. And we have been really thoughtful about how we surface apps to the right people at the right time. And we made great, great strides recently in app discovery with two major launches, search ads in the Play Store and universal app campaigns. I'm hoping some of you guys are familiar. Oh, I hear Woo, good. So some of you guys are very familiar with these products. But we're going to go ahead and tell you a little bit more about them, just in case you're not familiar with them. So we're going to start with search ads and play. How do people discover apps today? Well, they're often searching. So a recent Tune study has actually shown that app searches result in 67% of app downloads. That is a huge percentage of the app downloads. And so that's why we wanted to launch search ads and play. There's no better place than to be right in front of a user just as they're ready to download that app. And hopefully it's going to be yours, right? It's the perfect addition to our search ads inventory, meeting user intent right where it lives. And customers have found really great success with this, especially with a search network. Grubhub has actually helped tens of thousands of hungry people get lunch delivered to them because they have actually had a 16x growth in the amount of downloads since using search. That's a lot of really tasty burritos. Yum. But it doesn't end there. We actually have lit up more opportunities across all of our networks, including YouTube, the Google Display Network, and Google.com. We've actually recently found in a study that users, the average user, they open their phone 150 times per day. Okay? That might just be to see you know, how much traffic there is after I.O. and how to get home in the fastest and most efficient way, or how to get to the airport. And when they're at the airport, they might be thinking, hmm, I might want to watch a play a game today, so and download a game, right? I might want to watch a couple videos and see what games are cool. And then before I get on that flight into the wild blue yonder, I'm going to download a fabulous game to play. Or they might just be looking for a great place to eat tonight, because I'm just obsessed with food, obviously. So these are the moments and the points where Google can reach users when no one else can. And we call these moments micro moments. And we make it really simple for you to access users in these micro moments with a campaign that we call universal app campaigns. So last year, if you guys were at Google I.O., we shared how we were making app growth easier with the launch of universal app campaigns. These campaigns, which you can create either through the Play Developer Console or through AdWords, allows you to create the ads that are you see here today, when users are searching on Google.com, when they're discovering for um, apps on the Play Store, when they're engaging with just some of the apps they just downloaded from the Play Store, when they're surfing the web, or just simply watching some videos on YouTube. UAC is the one-stop shop for developers such as yourselves to tap all the inventory and the formats that we have to offer for you at Google. It's one campaign and a very minimal investment in setup. And it's working. It's working really well. More people are discovering apps on Google than ever before. And over the past year, thanks to universal app campaigns, we have more than doubled the app installs driven by ads. And to date, we have delivered more than 2 billion installs to developers such as yourselves. I'm saying a lot of billions here. There's a lot of opportunity out there for you. And developers have really loved UAC. Okay? 
They love the product's simplicity in its campaign setup. They love the efficiency that we can bring and by hitting their performance goals. And they really love the ability to reach Google inventory at scale. And these are the two things that we keep hearing over and over from developers when we talk with them about UAC. Their simplicity and their power. And if you walk away from this presentation remembering nothing else, what I want you to remember is that UAC campaigns or universal app campaigns are extremely simple and really powerful. Okay? So let's talk first about how UAC is simple. Developers just need to enter a few pieces of information. You just need to tell us a little bit of creative text to tell us um, what your potential users might be interested about your app. Second, you provide some information about where your users are located geographically. And then, just tell us how much you want to pay per install. And we'll do all the hard work. It's really easy to set up, and Eli here is going to put this to the test in a few minutes with a really fascinating demo, I promise you. So, universal app campaigns hardly require any optimization time. HBO used universal app campaigns to put HBO Now app in the hands of a lot more people. And they were able to do this in a lot less time. Diana Pesson at HBO said that their setup time was reduced from two hours to 15 minutes. That's a whole extra hour to 45 minutes that they can use to go skip through the park if they want and sing a song and be in a musical. Universal app campaigns also performed extremely well, beating out HBO's target cost per subscription. So we've talked about how they're simple. It's almost as simple as saying, OK, Google. And now let's talk about how they're powerful. Google has a number of really unique insights. Um, Google is able to reach users' intent, whether they're searching, whether they're reading, or browsing, or communicating, or simply just playing. Google has better signals about what a user wants to do, and we use these unique signals to understand exactly um, how we can help you move the needle across all of our properties. It's not just about the unique signals that we bring, but also about the power of our machine learning that we use to make it work for you. Universal app campaigns automate targeting, we automate bidding, and we automate creative generation to create engaging ads to find you more installs for your money. Our models evaluate countless number of signals, and we are always learning and adjusting so that when we show your ad, it is with the freshest and most relevant data. The best thing is we do all of the hard work in the back end and invest in your money where we think it goes the furthest. And customers such as Strava have really seen how universal app campaigns can work for them. So Strava wanted to accelerate the growth of their app in a lot of new markets, and universal app campaigns help them do this in a simple and scalable way. With just one app campaign, they were easily and able to quickly hit all of the Google networks and reach athletes across all of these networks while still maintaining their CPI goals. And that is pretty amazing. And so now I'm going to come up and invite Eli to join me. And we're going to do that demo that I've been promising you about. And don't tell him that I let you in on what he's going to tell you about uh, all the new things that we're bringing in. It'll be our little secret, OK? OK. Awesome. Thanks, Belinda. Uh, hi, everyone. I'm Eli Danziger. I'm a product manager here at Google. And I work on app promotion ads uh, on YouTube. So as Belinda mentioned, uh, we are going to, uh, we're going to show you just how easy it is to get started promoting your app uh, using AdWords. So we know that you're probably here today because you want to know how you can put your app into the hands of more users. So we're going to take you through a quick demo. Uh, it's going to be amazing. 
uh, spectacular. You'll see in just a second. Um, through one particular campaign, which is the star of our show today, and that's Universe Lab campaigns. So we up on the screen? Good? OK, great. So first, uh, we're going to pick a campaign name, something, something memorable, uh, like campaign number two. Amazing, you read my mind. Then we're going to search for our app. Let's go with uh, Transworld Endless Skater. It's one of my favorites. You can see that as soon as you select your app, we automatically generate ad formats across the Play Store, Google.com, and the Google Display Network. Then you add four lines of ad text. We even pull in your description from the App Store to help with some ideas. Once you've added these lines of ad text, I know, so much pressure. <laughs> Once we've added these four lines of ad text, we're going to scroll on down, and <laughs> we're going to add a YouTube video as well. Adding a YouTube video allows you to run video ad formats across YouTube, but also the Google Display Network. Next, we're going to pick our location and language targeting. Let's step out of our comfort zone here and go with uh, US and Canada and English and French. Okay, very, <laughs> very good. Next, we're going to set our bids and our budgets. The bid is the amount that you're willing to pay for an install of your app. And your budget is the daily amount uh, that you're willing to pay each day. Now, I know what you're all thinking. When Belinda hits save, uh, some fireworks are going to happen. This is going to be a super cool demo, right? Totally wrong. Um, <laughs> this is actually going to be quick and pretty unremarkable. But that's the entire point. Right? We're, we're literally done. Do you want me to hit save? I can hit save. Oh, you hit save. That's it. We're all done. You set up a campaign. You guys are done. High five. So this is really cool because AdWords automatically sets up conversion tracking for you. Uh, so you don't have to go into your app and uh, and tag up your app with, uh, with a bunch of SDK calls. This is all done automatically, so you can see just how effective your campaign is at driving installs. So instead of maneuvering through millions of different combinations of settings and variables, we've baked simplicity and power right into the model. Now, one of the things that we, that we showed in this demo was that Universal App Campaigns pulls in creative assets for the Google Play Store uh, Google.com and the Google Display Network, basically for search and display creatives. And as a video PM, that makes me really sad uh, because we know that video is super engaging for users. Uh, it's an incredible medium for storytelling and for engagement. And what that means is that it attracts high quality users for your app. But we also know that creating a video can be difficult and time, time consuming. So in addition to search and display creatives, we're making it super easy to generate video creatives as well. This is a new tool, a free tool, that's built right into Universe Lab Campaigns that's going to allow developers such as yourselves to automatically generate videos using the content that already exists in your App Store listings. So it's another way that we're doing the hard work for you in the background so that you can focus on building amazing and engaging app experiences for your users. This success story really stood out to me. Quick show of hands. We're going to go back to the interactive bit again. Uh, how many people have played Trivia Crack? Raise your hands. OK, a couple of people, a couple of people. Um, for those that haven't, uh, the name is, uh, is, is pretty telling. It's, it's a pretty addictive app. Um, Entermax, which is the app's parent company, uh, was looking to enter additional markets around the world. They had this killer insight that users really enjoyed playing trivia games against other users around the world. And from this killer insight, they were able to use universal app campaigns to keep going global. They were, their campaign was able to achieve a 40% lower cost per install than other channels, and they were able to drive more than 40,000 downloads in the first two months, which really accelerated their entry into other app markets. OK, the now is nice, but let's, let's talk about the future. On Wednesday, we announced that we're building on the success of universal app campaigns with a slew of new features. And the key insight that led us down this path 
is that engagement with your app is key. So essentially that installs are valuable, but really engagement is what's going to separate your app from being successful, from being not on the user's home screen, buried in a folder somewhere, never opened. So with that, I want to share our vision for the next generation of universal app campaigns. We want to build a simple way, or we want to continue building a simple way for developers to find high quality users across the broadest, most valuable pool of inventory and to keep them coming back to your app. So it wouldn't be much of an inventory story if we didn't talk about uh, that other app platform, um, iOS. So first, we're really excited to talk about how Universal App Campaigns is going to be expanding to support iOS apps in addition to Android. Soon all developers will be able to tap into the power of Universal App Campaigns to grow their user base on iOS in addition to Android. After providing a few simple, creative, and bidding inputs, just like we showed in the demo, developers will be able to reach billions, again with the B, uh, of users across Android and now iOS as well. And this is going to be with beautiful formats that are designed to fit natively and seamlessly into the respective operating systems. iOS is in beta today and it's going to roll out soon to all users. We've got a handy short link on screen if you guys are interested in signing up for the beta. Uh, we encourage you to hit that, uh, hit that short link and sign up for the beta. We'll have this up again later in the presentation as well. So, don't worry if you don't get it now. Second, I'm excited to dive into the core feature of the next generation of Universal App Campaigns. Our teams are focusing their attention on helping developers to optimize for lifetime value. And so again, this comes from the key insight that installs are valuable, but really engagement is critical. So let's think about the three cases that we described earlier. Each one of these businesses has key events that really move the needle for their business and really drive value for their business. And these are actions that they really want to drive with their app campaigns. So that can be ordering food online, that can be subscribing to a service, that can be taking your bike out for its first ride. And the goal is valuable engagement. So a recent study showed that 17% of users drive 85% of in-app purchases. And so what that means is the difference between a user installing your app and never opening it, and a user actually taking action in your app, there's a huge difference between those two types of users. The problem is that the data that makes your business run, so understanding how users behave in your app on one side and how your marketing campaigns are performing on the other, have historically lived in silos. And they haven't really talked to one another. But obviously, we all know that they, both, uh, that they both have value to each side. And so bringing these two things together is really where the opportunity lies. And so our vision for Universal App Campaigns is that we can help you to take advantage of this opportunity by bringing this information together and finding you more of the right app users. Now, instead of just app installs, you're going to be able to tell Google the in-app events that are important to your business and have universal app campaigns optimized to find more of those in-app events. We take care of the rest. So marketing and analytics, better together. And that's the vision for the next generation of universal app campaigns. It's even more powerful than what we have today, but still keeping simplicity front and center. We're giving developers, we're giving you the choice to decide between maximizing for installs and maximizing for lifetime value of these acquired users. And to make this all work, we're working on making it much easier to share these conversion events with AdWords, which is why we're particularly excited about Firebase Analytics. This is our new app-first app analytics platform that we announced at I.O. You guys have probably heard about this once or twice. It provides pre-built engagement and conversion signals that can help you manage your conversions across AdWords and over 20 third-party ad networks. So if you're a Firebase user, you can automatically funnel these conversion events right into AdWords so it's even easier for you to optimize your campaigns and drive lifetime value. 
One of the great parts about universal app campaigns is that you'll be able to choose which actions are important to your app and which actions drive the right value from amongst a large selection. UAC is going to work seamlessly with Firebase Analytics, but importantly, it's going to continue to integrate seamlessly with the top third-party app reporting SDKs. We think of this as a new era in app discovery, a way to buy app ads that's unique in the industry. It starts with understanding the actions that drive lifetime value for your app specifically, and then it lets the automation take over. So how does this all work? Said a lot of high-level things. Let's get a little bit into the details. We leverage Google's machine learning algorithms to find prospective users that are likely to be high-value customers for your app and to really drive those in-app events that you've identified as valuable to your business. You've all probably heard that DeepMind and AlphaGo recently beat one of the greatest human Go players of all time at a game that is so complex, it has more board configurations than there are atoms in the universe. We utilize the same underlying technology to process user and contextual signals in real time to find installs and soon these very valuable post-install events that are going to really move the needle for your app. So obviously, this vision is something that we're very excited about. Uh, you, can, you can probably tell. Um, but the great thing is, when we've talked to customers, we find that they really share our enthusiasm, including David Rose, who's the head of performance marketing at Pocket Gems. And he said, this is an app marketer's dream. More valuable users, less effort. And really, we couldn't have said it any better ourselves, and we completely agree with you, David. So now I'm going to hand it over to Pasha, who's going to talk about how our formats are really helping to make our automation even more powerful. Thanks, Eli. So my name is Pasha Nahas, and I'm a product manager here at Google working on our app ad formats. And Eli and Belinda talked a lot about how universal app campaigns are incredibly simple and easy, but also really powerful thanks to the power of automation. At the same time, um, one of the most important elements in determining how well your ads perform are the formats that your users eventually see. As a result, it's probably no surprise that we apply the same sort of automation and simplicity that we have with universal app campaigns in general to optimizing your ad formats so that they look more beautiful and perform better with no extra work from your end. Let's take a look at one particular ad format that can run with universal app campaigns. This is a full screen interstitial that runs on third party ad networks, uh, th third party apps. Um, and these sorts of ads can show up in um, natural pause states in an app, for example, in between the levels of a game. We've been running these ads for several years now, and this is what they looked like when we first started. You'd give us a few lines of creative text, and then we'd pull in a whole bunch of other assets from the Play Store or the Apple App Store, like the icon, star rating, screenshots, etc. And we'd pull all these assets together to make a rich, full screen creative. Then, about a year ago, we did a redesign of our creative uh, where we pulled in a big, beautiful cover photo and we put a prominent round install button at the bottom to draw users' attention. And we matched the color of the footer and the button with the cover photo so that it all felt like one seamless experience. All these little design touches led to a great improvement in both click-through rate and conversion rate. Then, just a few months ago, we went one step further and started customizing by ad platform as well. So users on iOS devices would see an ad that's developed with iOS visual language, and users on Android devices would see an ad that's designed with Android visual language. Again, we saw a great improvement in performance. And the best part about all these optimizations is that they happen automatically with no work from you. Once you gave us those first few lines of creative text, we did all these enhancements automatically over time with no extra work. Now, let's talk about another format that we're really excited about, which is native ads. So Belinda and Eli talked about the awesomeness of ads on Google Search and on Google Play. And part of that awesomeness is because the ads feel really native in the context that they show up in. These ads match the UI and the visual language of the surrounding content. So we're trying to do the same thing on 
ads that show up on third-party apps as well. So instead of showing a simple banner um, that is one size fits all, we're working with app developers to show native ads that fit in more seamlessly into the surrounding content. These ads are not only more beautiful and have a better user experience, but they perform better too. In a beta version of our native ads, which we launched yesterday, um, we saw a 16% increase in lifetime value for advertisers when they were acquiring users on native ads versus non-native ads. That's a pretty significant difference. And again, the benefit here is if you're running universal app campaigns, you get placed into these native ads automatically with no extra work from you. Now, showing users a few images or screenshots or text or even video is really great, but what could be better than letting users try your app for themselves? With trial run ads, you can do exactly that. Trial run ads are Android ads that run on Google Search and on the Google Display Network, and a user has the option to try now. And if they select that option, we start streaming the app automatically and immediately from the cloud, no downloading anything, no wait times. And the user can start interacting with your app just like they would with the real thing. If they're interested in what they see, then they can go and install from the Play Store automatically. Now, the best thing about this is because um, we're using the, the Play Store APK, there's no extra work from your end. We can just do this all automatically on our end, no work. Now, this, this demo here, this, this screenshot is really cool, but wouldn't it be better if we actually showed you what this looks like in real life? Let's do exactly that. Let's do a demo. Now, I can't promise, can you guys see my screen? There we go. Um, I can't promise that my demo will live up to the excitement and razzle-dazzle of Eli's, but I'll try my best. Uh, I guess you guys are going to see my pattern, so please don't, uh, <laughs> please don't try to steal my phone later. So here we have an interstitial ad that is promoting the 1010 puzzle game. And you see some images about the ad and the star ratings, et cetera. And um, you have the option to either install or try now. And let's say you select to try now. And we will start streaming the app live from the cloud. And you can start playing with it just like this. And you get to see my awesome 1010 skills. Now, the thing I really want to highlight here is we didn't download anything. This is all streaming live in real time from the cloud automatically. <coughs> So, so this product is still in a limited early stage beta, but if you're interested in learning more, we'd love you to go to this website that you see on screen, g.co slash trial run ads beta, and we'll send you updates when we're, we have more to share. Now, I've talked a lot about all these different formats that we automatically optimize and make better without any extra work from you, but you're probably thinking, hey, my app is really special, and I should be able to show that specialness in my ad format in some really cool and special way. And you're totally right. We completely agree. That's why we have a product in beta called Interactive Interstitials, where you can use HTML and JavaScript to create a completely custom experience that's tailor-made to highlight the unique value proposition of your app. For example, if you're a retail app like Zalora, you can showcase the hottest trending styles and users can swipe between them. or if you're an action game like Boom Beach, you can show a panoramic view of all of the different gameplay. So that's a quick whirlwind over our app formats. And to summarize what we've talked about in this talk, Google is making it a lot easier for you to find high value users with less work. Belinda talked about the importance of Google and all its different properties in the app discovery process. And then she introduced universal app campaigns as a really easy way to acquire users across all these different properties. Then Eli did one of the best demos of the entire IO week when he showed you just how easy it is to use universal app campaigns. And he also shared some of our upcoming plans around iOS and optimizing for lifetime value. And then I walked you guys through our latest and greatest formats and showed you how we're making it easy to optimize your ad formats without any work from your part. And because I'm going last, and uh, I'm the Formats PM. I, of course, had to use the only animated slide, and also to put my own face on the slide as well. Um, and uh, we wanted to say thank you for taking the time to listen to us. And now we'd like to open it up to any questions you might have. So you guys want to come up? If anyone has any questions, you can go to the microphone in the middle of the room and line up there. Please make sure you speak directly into the microphone. Hey. Uh, so 
we're about to spend lots of money advertising our app NPR One, and awesome. uh, we are um, looking for ways to optimize the CPIs and also to optimize for uh, install users. So I'm wondering uh, if you have evidence uh, that the CPIs are lower than like social advertising through Facebook and. How, how could I go about like uh, rapidly figuring out uh, what those CPIs would be and comparing them to our other opportunities? Um, yeah, sure. So um, one of the things that, I don't know that we showed that well during the demo, but we do have some recommended CPIs for you based off of apps from your vertical and um, from your country. So that's probably a nice place to at least take a look um, and see sort of if that fits within the realm that you're expecting. Um, and then just try it out. Universal app campaigns, because they're so easy to go ahead and just get started, you could start with something um, just small, just check it out and see how it works for you, and then kind of keep expanding from there. Hi. We're uh, looking at advertising uh, a wearable app, basically. Uh -huh. um, and apart from any other targeting, it really only makes sense to advertise it to people who have an Android Wear watch. <laughs> yeah, I think that's 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 so, good feedback, and yeah. I think it's something that we should we Ooh. take into consideration going forward with our roadmaps. Yeah, not something that's currently. I would say there's I would say there's kind of two answers to that. Um, the first one is one of the great things about the machine learning that we do is that we're able to rapidly hone in on the users that are likely to install and the ones that are uh, less likely to install uh, will rapidly not get ads shown to them. So that's that's kind of like the first point. Um, there are some things that you can do around uh, remarketing if you, know, um, if you know which users have already uh, installed your app uh, or, or have a list of users that are likely to, to have Android Wear um, uh, devices already. Um, so there are some things that we can do outside of universal app campaigns. Uh, that's a little bit more complicated, so we can talk some more about that outside if you're, if you're interested. Okay, thank you. Great. Hi, thanks. Can you use uh, remarketing lists for, for universal ad campaigns from AdWords? Um, not today, um, but it's something that we're thinking about right now. But as of now, universal app campaigns doesn't allow any additional marketing lists. All right. Yeah, but we'll keep that in mind. Thank you for your feedback. Hey, it's, it's me again. Uh, <laughs> the, we've been using the Firebase uh, dynamic links, and we love them. Mm -hmm. So I wonder it, like, to take the user right into an app state uh, I wonder if there's any thought about integrating like a dynamic link, so rather than a generic install through universal app campaigns, but take them, in our case, to like a specific podcast or something like that. Is that something you're thinking about? So we have app re-engagement ads. Are you, are you familiar with those, or is that not what you're thinking about? Uh, I'm thinking about first install. You're thinking about first using, install. Okay. Using an app state as the hook, and then using a dynamic link to take the user to that app state through the campaign. Yeah, so one of our um, app re-engagement formats allows you to install an app, and then, um, and then once the user then presses continue, they'll actually be taken directly into um, the link that you specify. So if you're interested in like, advertising a specific podcast, you could do that. And with the re-engagement campaigns, we'll actually, if the user doesn't have the app installed, we'll let them install it first and then take them to that specific page. If they do have the app installed, we'll just go ahead and skip the install step and take them directly to that page. So that's through the re-engagement campaign? Yeah, and I'm happy to chat afterwards if you're not as familiar with that. Great, thank you. Yeah. Hi. Hello. Hi. Uh, for the trial run ads, do you monetize that? So do I pay cost per install or cost per impression? So you can still bid on cost per install like you would with, with any other campaign. Um, right now, we are experimenting with how we exactly like charge and, and what, what things we do. We're, like I said, it's still a very early stage product. And so we're learning what works the best to get you the highest quality users. Um, but you can still bid on a cost per install like you would with any other app. Thanks. Okay, great. Any other questions? Okay, sounds good. Thanks, everyone. Okay, we really you appreciate your coming. Thanks, everyone. Um, if you guys had any questions because you were too shy, we'll go ahead and uh, de mic ourselves and stand over here somewhere. <laughs>